What's a poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. Join me as I read you. You all guys, we're about to see what's going down for the week. This is going to be overall energies, what's happening with Pisces and what's happening in love as well. So with that being said, you guys better be lighting up with your girl. Smoking up, talking up, drinking up, and kicking your Piscean buttons up, baby. So listen, pre-shuffle was um, body work, cheese, knock knock, keys and passcode, and also Zadi, last but not least. So something that could have been locked up is getting ready to be returned to you. Um, or there could be something about some keys that's getting ready to take place in your hand. Also, mating souls was here too. Now, listen. We're about to see what's going down. I don't know what's about to come out. So if your ass is sensitive, go on and click the fuck on off. Right here, right now. Because I'll be seeing some crazy ass comments. I've seen some comments about dogs and shit. Now, listen, bitch. I done told you now. Okay? Clear? Okay, all right, all right, okay. So let's see what's up, spirit. You are welcome into this Piscean reading, baby. Oh, this shit lit. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods, baby. Okay, so uh, based off of the smoke, that looked like something could have taken a direction at any turn. Things could go left or right, up or down. Whatever the case may be, that was definitely something that was indicating you got a direction or there's something going in the right direction. see what's up. We're going to take a look at all Pisces all together. And then we're going to look at Pisces in love and then I'm clicking the fuck off. Alright, make sure you guys check out my website too, LorelBanks.com Let's do it. Day one. So this is something about family members. Making a connection all together. This also could be people that uh, you consider. This could be new people with day ones or meeting new people. This could be dealing with family members, moms, dads, brothers, uncles, daddies, cousins, uh, aunties, nephews, step nephew. Is there such thing as step nephew? Is it? Yeah. Step nephew. How you do that? The uncle. Second wife or something? Yeah. I guess. Okay. So that might be dealing with family. For sure. I don't think that shit makes sense. It's just a hot dog. Still fit. I like it. Yeah. It sounded good. They were. Alright, so something is starting on the first day. Also could be dealing with uh, aftermath, with this after party for some of you Pisces. This also could be uh, dealing with extracurricular activities with this after party. Clarify this for me. Change of heart in reverse and also TV wires. So you might be dealing with either some connections or some sort of actual cable or TV I'm also seeing for some of you guys with the message falling out, there could be some information that's coming towards you. What's this message about? 
definitely some connections. Exes for a reason and knock knock. Okay, so now y'all know how I feel about this exes for a reason. Either they does some dumb ass shit. It's the reason why they're your ex. Or you might be discovering why you had those exes in the first place. Even more better. Alright? But knock knock is here. So for some of you guys it might be something about a door, something coming towards you. Cutthroat. Could be done with a torn. You have little pookie and mating souls. Oh shit, nigga. And private. So either keep it to yourself or uh, this could be for some of you guys, there might be a lot of things that might be happening as far as communication wise with your soulmate or somebody trying to mate to your soul, honey. But uh, private here is a lot of information or things that could be kept or unkept with a mate. Might be something that's being communicated with the throat or your throat chakras. Elder advice. And what you gonna do about it. And too many people also fetish. Somebody could be lying to you boldly as well too if you're talking to them about some sort of conversation about multiple people or multiple happenings. With incognito at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys are keeping a lot of shit to yourself. This could be like ancient knowledge, occult knowledge. Let's get some cards. Also figuring out your next best move. And strategizing. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Alright, here we go. Temperance, also tower. So there could be something very explosive getting ready to come about. Somebody who's ass naked here. And her clothes is wrapped around her as if she is. There's some sort of something about threads or clothes. What is this tower here for? A lot of chaos with a lot of movement here with this Ten of Wands as well, too. And also somebody giving in with the Nine of Wands. So. I feel like if you have some sort of contracts or if there's contracts that's getting ready to come up, somebody's getting ready to uh, either review over something or there could be a lot of things that's being written in stone or something in lines or clarify this for me, spirit. Hermit. So yeah, this could be an ultimate contract. Could be dealing with a possible Virgo as well, too, or somebody who's old or older. A little salt and pepper. King of Pentacle energy here and also King of Swords. And Strength energy. Okay, also Nine of Swords. What the fuck is this? I feel like somebody's... Uh, Somebody could be in a lot of fear to start something new. I'm also seeing a lot of finances come in your direction as well, too. Now, for some of you guys, you got to spend money in order to earn money is what I'm seeing here. But definitely a lot of strategies. Try, try to stay away from uh, people that come across as nervous and shit. They lying about something. Yeah, Page of Swords, or there's all eyes on you. Ace, Ace of Wands here, so something is hot. Something is going to be um, beneficial. It could be dealing with hands or uh, keeping your hands on to something. I don't know what the fuck this is. But Page of Swords, be on the lookout. I'm also seeing some of you guys are doing research about uh, temperaments or things that come, come to an end or cycles that could come to a close. This also could be dealing with judicial systems. Okay, or you could be dealing with a possible uh, Libra 
and I'm also getting something about lines or crossing the lines. I don't know what this is about. So you do have a petty energy that's around you that's watching some things. Either this is taking place online, but I'm seeing a lot of mastery here with this Empress and em Emperor both together. All right, and also the investments that's on these money trees here. She's putting her eggs into the basket, but try not to put too many so that I'll hatch all at the same time. Also getting something about countryside or farm side with these cows. And the lovers. So somebody could be worried or thinking about if their partner is like going to be missing out or could be dealing with a possible Gemini here as well too. Or whatever red flags these are that's surrounded by your partner. I feel like a lot of you guys might be seeing that. So let's move into that bitch. Because I do feel like somebody could be coming along new or there could be something that's new along with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be just in a sun, moon, or dusty ass rise. So just be on the lookout for little pop-ups and things. You do have the Ten of Pentacles twice here. So there's movement twice. Also four of wands. Could be something about uh, actual property or real estate or mortgages or something like that. But there's definitely some sort of nosy hole here with this Queen of Wands here. That Leo Sagittarius Aries. Somebody's watching somebody's pockets. Or I don't know who this is, but it could be baby mama, baby daddy or something like that. But some of you guys are fearless in this bitch. And I'm seeing money come at least three times or it could be actual uh, overflow of something is what I'm getting here that you had to leave things behind and start something new. Also could be two different energies as well. Masculine, divine, masculine, divine, feminine or whoever this is that I'm seeing. They're definitely watching a couple here with this empress and emperor. And also with the Nine of Cups, I feel like it's a lot of satisfaction around you or some of you guys are seeing some sort of trophies or um, accomplishments. But it's a rat around trying to get the cheese. Alright, let's see what's up though. That was a lot. Probably why I said too many people. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing booty party vibes too, or somebody's trying to like get some sort of revenge or some get back or something. Definitely a lot of flirtation. All right, let's see this out. scheduling here or somebody scheduling something on the calendar whatever this tide is is something coming together and in air generally we're Aquarius so this could be actual thoughts and communication lines of communication or you could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius but I also feel like there's a lot of questions or questionable things that's getting ready to take place here it says at night the girlfriend and family also on cameras. I knew it was some nosy ass shit going down, but you have spill the beans. Who's about to spill the beans, Rick? Somebody could be talking a lot. Big blow. No empathy. Damn. And shut up. So somebody's suffering from an ego blow or trying to get some sort of information by detecting or scanning through something. This also could be dealing with a child with his DNA here as well too. And shut up. Damn. So I don't know if uh, 
Yeah, this is definitely someone else because you have closed mouth and money. So somebody just don't shut up. Could be due to like some underlining reason due to money or financial circumstances. I'm also getting somebody also could be uh, just watching due to ammunition or trying to gain. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay, so I see something about a sociopath and a car and a fight. Okay, there's something about a fight here. Somebody's watching things due to insanity. Fuck. Wow. It's driving them crazy. Maybe that's why the dinosaurs came out. You know, I'll be thinking like, shit, that ain't me, motherfucker. Shit, that's, the, that's that other motherfucker. I know that ain't me. But you have the girlfriend and ammunition here. So somebody's trying to hold something back. You also have con artists, handcuffs, and in between. Shit. All right, and solved case. Also blood splatter. So somebody's trying to leave some sort of DNA or something that's left behind. But they're very strange and on cameras. Whatever this is, whoever this is, they're an insane motherfucker. Their brain, their thoughts might be all over the place. I don't know who it is I'm reading for, but this is why I stopped because... They're on some fuck shit. And they tiptoeing around leaving evidence. Okay, with some sort of made up story. Or you know how people like to watch certain things and they envision things there. So, oh, fake tears and insanity down. So, you know how people be envisioning certain things and they try to get you to believe it too. And make up stories about other people. And then they watch other people either to make up part of the story or to add to their story to make it sound better. That's insanity. So they leaving some sort of uh, evidence or somebody is really like doing some nosy, petty shit. Alright, let me get the last of these cards and then I'm out. Fuck this up. Devil in the flesh. Porn addict. Like I said, somebody watching. All eyes on you. And mystery. So something is uh, up in the atmosphere. All right, let's see what it do. We'll go one down. Next couple of days. Husband and wife. And nature. Also bounce thine ass. Somebody's making some sort of moves. Okay, or some ass is about to be bouncing. All right, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me before my bite. Here we go. We have recharge and rage, also ancestors. Uh oh, and new love. What's this rage here for? Why is people so mad all the time? New you, and early morning. Also, somebody's dreams is coming true, or something like that, or your dream state is coming to the 3D, 4D plane. Somebody's mad about it, going crazy and big motherfucking money, bitch. I'm out. Lovers and friends at the bottom of the deck. So listen, Pisces, whoever this is. They're very vengeful. They'll be very bitter, spiteful, whoever this is. But some sort of dream is coming true. I'm also getting something about money or finances that uh, they want a possession of or something like that. But yeah, like I said, this motherfucker is insane. Let me get on out of here. I love you guys all so much. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next.